1945, about an hour after Nagasaki and Hiroshima were bombed, there were reports of black rain falling from the skies. This was the first documented case of black rain, a phenomenon which had never been seen before. So, what exactly was this mysterious black rain? Well, as you may have guessed, the black rain was the aftermath of the atomic bombs. Black rain is a form of radioactive residue. After the initial explosion from an atomic bomb, the heat from the explosion heated up the surrounding area, creating updrafts which are currents of air flowing upwards. The updrafts formed clouds and was the heat also vaporizing nearby water sources. It added the necessary moisture required to form rain clouds. And due to the massive force of the explosion, countless contaminants such as dust, smoke, debris, ash, and residual ionizing radiation were picked up along with the updraft, with even some chemicals exposed from the storages being absorbed into the clouds. All of these various sources of contamination created an amalgamation of makeshift poison, all in all lacing the rain clouds with radioactive isotopes and filth, creating the phenomenon we call black rain. It's fairly obvious why it was named this way, as with all of these pollutants converging, you will inevitably end up with a blackish liquid. And once the rain begins falling, it wreaks havoc on all organic life. The ionizing radiation contained in the rain, like most forms of radiation, damages DNA, causing acute radiation sickness, increasing the risk for cancer, and creating long-term health effects for any organism it comes in contact with. Everything exposed to the black rain suffered radiation poisoning of various degrees, or radiation burns. However, black rain isn't only restricted to damaging animals. If you recall, it harms all organic life including plants, and therefore also harms the environment, by contaminating the ecosystem with radioactive fallout, drenching the soil, water, and just about everything with radiation. The rain that fell didn't have the usual properties of rainwater, and were more akin to that of oil and tar, with droplets of black rain filling into soak into the ground due to their viscosity being consistent with that of diluted tar. An example of black rain in literature is in One Punch Man, where we actually get to see a demonstration of black rain. After Garo finished blasting gamma radiation beams everywhere, we get this panel showcasing the black rain from the aftermath of Garo's attacks. So yeah, that's basically what black rain is. <laughs>